welcome to another YouTube video. I am Hype the Commentator, and thank you all for joining me today for episode five of the Indie Showcase. Today, we are taking a look at MCW Seasons Beatings, The Last Stand between Kakoa and King McBride. This is the last match of King McBride's career. And he retired right after this and decided to run off into the sunset. So let's take a look between King McBride on his last ride as he looks to do the one thing he couldn't do throughout his career. And that was beat Kakoa. Could he do it? Did he do it? Well, we're going to take a look at that right now. Let's get right into it. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, Kako with a shotgun dropkick to King McBride in the corner. Here's the thing. King McBride reeled in Kakoa to earn his trust. And then when Kakoa thought he could trust King McBride the most at higher ground, when they were moments away from beating Capital Punishment for the MCW Tag Team Championships, McBride turned his back on Kakoa, costing them the championships, showing his true colors and just how evil and maniacal he actually is. At a big back body drop from Kakoa. You can look at the eyes of the Hawaiian warrior. Kakoa sending McBride in the corner. Oh, it lands up and over, lands on his feet. What a lariat. Spine first connects. With a ring apron. That one could be a big turning point. Trying to run away. Playing a little bit of a uh, cat and mouse here. Oh, but Schlegel with a clothesline. Schlegel may have broken his arm, but he's playing it. And King McBride saying he's outsmarting. Kakoa and now setting up a trash can in the corner. Oh, but Kakoa from behind, waist lock, standing switch. Kakoa almost went face first, out on the ropes. Big back elbow. Kakoa, we got taken out, spun. One, two. Oh, Kakoa kicks out at two. Not enough to keep McBride. Nope. Things twice, realized Kakoa was starting to move. He had to think twice about his plan because he didn't want to get counted by Kakoa. And that just shows the ring awareness of the veteran, King McBride. You don't want to waste too much time showboating as Kakoa starts to fight back with these thunderous chops to the chest. And McBride trying to block the... Oh, great drop kick from McBride, stopping that little bit of momentum that Kakoa was starting to have. And a thumbs up from Schlegel. Oh, what a forearm to Kakoa. Now these two trading forearms in the center of the ring. And a back and forth tit for tat. Who's going to take control of this one? Who wants this more? Who wants this more? Kakoa has so much distaste for McBride after turning his back. After, after McBride went out of his way to gain the trust of Kakoa after everything they've been through, Kakoa had no reason to trust McBride from the get-go and was very suspicious about King McBride's interests in trying to align himself with Kakoa. And then in the end... Of Kakoa's worries turned out to be true when McBride cost them the tag team championships back at higher ground. And now Kakoa setting up for a super kick gets caught by kick gets caught by McBride. Now he's back elbows. McBride gets caught by Kakoa. Kakoa has McBride up on the shoulders, but K but McBride breaks free. Here we go. Oh, what a low blow. Low, and the ref can't do anything about it. Oh, Death Valley driver. That one's it. One. What? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Kakoa just kicked out of the Death Valley driver from McBride. 
Oh no. Kakoa is not where he wants to be at all. But a big back elbow suckered in. King McBride. McBride gets caught with a big boot as they try to go in again. But Schlegel holds on the leg. And he's stuck right in front of the trash can. Spear, but gets it arm's way. McBride head first into the steel trash can. Boom, what a super kick flush on the jaw of McBride. And Kakoa heads up to the top. This could be it. The Hawaiian warrior gonna fly with a splash. Picture perfect right on the money. Go to the cover. One, two, oh. But, but what? It's saved by Ellsworth. And Ellsworth saves King McBride from losing in his last match. King McBride has one more thing on his bucket list as a professional wrestler. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Leo Rush is here at season's beatings. Can you feel the energy in the RJ Meyer arena? One last stand and the man of the hour has arrived. Leo Rush is here. Schlegel now going after Kakoa from behind, but Kakoa just eating those shots. Those shots are not effective, but here comes Rush from behind to take Schlegel out of play. Watch your back, because what you turn see when you turn around, you are not going to like the disrespect to Kakoa. Turns around. Boom! What a super kick flush in the jaw. Schlegel's out like a light. Thank you for coming. And have a good night. And a happy new year. But a super kick for Ellsworth, too. Thank you for coming. This match is still going on. And Leo Rush. Comes to the came to the aid of Kakoa, evening up the odds. And now Kakoa sets up Ellsworth in the corner. What do Leo Rush and Kakoa have in mind? Leo Rush grabs another steel trash can. Oh my, this is gonna be brutal. Whatever this is. And Leo Rush. Has been everywhere. AW Impact, WWE. Leo Rush is a star everywhere. He's been all around the world. And now he's here to assist Kakoa in evening up the odds as he looks to take out King McBride in his last stand. And now looking to take out Ellsworth right now as he springboard goes coast to coast. Take it out, James Ellsworth. Ellsworth is down and out. And Kikoa has McBride right where he wants him. Oh, but a low blow in this unsanctioned match doesn't matter. McBride with another low blow. This one was clear as day. And this one could be over in just a matter of moments. And now flipping off Kikoa looking for one final Death Valley driver. That one was planted picture perfect center of the ring but he's not going for the cover. What in the world is going on in the mind of King McBride? Rolls through one more time. He wants to make sure he puts out Kakoa once and for all in his final match. And that's it. One, two. Oh, but Leo Rush saves this. Leo Rush trying to do the right thing and help Kakoa dock the shot. What a combo from Rush. Boom. What a clothesline. Turns McBride inside out. Kakoa heads up to the top with a splash. And it connects. Kakoa got all of that one. Cover. No, you got what? What? How in the world is King McBride still in this? And flips off a defiant... King McBride has a final hand sign message for King McBride. This one could be it. Says McBride into the steel trash can. 
And one corner sent to the steel cra trash can in the other corner. Boom! Super kick flush on the jaw and sends Death Valley Driver using McBride's own move against him. And now Kakoa heads up to the top to put the final nail in the coffin of the career of King McBride with one final message. And Kakoa returns the favor with a hand side of his own. And the splash connects again. Even more devastating than the last. This one is over. Cover. And the final moment of the career. This one does it. And the career of King McBride is over. All right, everybody. And that was Kakoa versus King McBride in the last stand of King Ryan McBride's career as a professional wrestler. In the end, one final Death Valley driver from Kakoa and a huge splash would end the career of King McBride. McBride going without a victory over Kakoa as his career ended. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning into today's video. Don't forget, follow me on all my socials on Instagram at Hype the Commentator, Twitch at Hype the Commentator, TikTok at Hype the Commentator, right here on YouTube at Hype the Commentator, and Hype Commentator on X. Thank you all for all the love and support, and I will see you all in the next one.